you know, to just uh, give a provide a broader overview, uh, chromosomal instability is um, an age-old problem. I think it was identified over a hundred years ago uh, by a botanist uh, by the name of Theodore Bovary. Um, it wasn't until you know a few decades that we really appreciated the extent of chromosomal abnormalities in cancer. Um, and I think for a few decades, I mean, for 50, 60 years, cytogeneticists have been meticulously documented, documenting all the chromosomal abnormalities they see in human tumors. What's interesting is with the advent of next-gen sequencing and uh, technologies and with the focus on um, you know, genetic alterations of the suppressor genes, um, you know, how, what role do they play in tumor evolution and progression? There is a greater appreciation that uh, in addition to the individual genetic alterations, uh, that the large-scale chromosomal abnormalities, you know, collectively known as chromosomal instability, is actually a very important aspect of tumor progression and tumor evolution that we haven't truly reckoned with uh, over the past, you know, in, in this kind of most recent uh, uh, revolution in cancer research. And the reason it's really important, uh, I think, is because um, chromosomal instability is a defining feature almost of a large subset of metastatic advanced and recurrent uh, cancers. Um, you know, uh, tumors that would respond to targeted therapies if they were early on uh, would actually be very resistant uh, in the late stages. And we think that this resistance is in large part driven by um, high levels of, of chromosomal instability. So it's been considered as a therapeutic black box, if you will. And I think what we're hoping uh, is that, that, you know, advances over the, the past 10 years and understanding the mechanisms and pathways associated with chromosomal instability now starts to illuminate uh, strategies for intervening to actually now treat what's something we consider as kind of a uh, unpenetrable problem. We can actually start to deconstruct it and develop uh, therapeutic strategies to address it.